Today I'm reviewing the Temp IR Pulse Oximeter. Comes in this box. It is well packaged. Good styrofoam. Keeps it safe for delivery. It also comes with a nice carrying case. Fits in there. Closed with Velcro. Comes with a strap which you attach in that little hole which is nice because if you would drop it, it's not going to fall on the ground and break. They do give you energizer batteries which you install. Then put the cover back on. To turn it on, you have that gray button. Just press it. And you can see the meter right now is reading that way. If you want to change the position of the meter, depending if you're right-handed or left-handed, you just keep pressing that button, and that will change how your display is shown. To change the settings, you take the gray button and hold it in. And there are all your settings. You just press down to where you want to hold it in to make any changes. I'm going to exit it. And we're back to the meter. And all you have to do is take the meter. You can see the red flashing. Hook it onto your finger. And within a couple seconds, it's going to start reading. And we have, um, that's how quick it gives you a reading. i got to move the camera so you can see it better, hopefully. On the left is the oxygen. Right now mine is 94, which is pretty good. 95 to 100 is average. There we are. We're up to 95 now. My uh, heart rate is on the right-hand side. It's around 76. To the right of the heart rate, you could see it, the beats of your heart. So it's actually calculating that. It's um, very accurate. I mean, I have a pacemaker, and I had tried it when I was resting, and my resting rate is 60, and it was dead on. I also tested it with my hand checking my pulse, and again, it was dead on. The Very, very accurate. It's easy, very easy to set up and use, as you can see. And once you're done, you just take it off, and within 15 seconds, it will shut off by itself. It couldn't be easier. It's well made. It's very accurate. Very easy to use. Um, highly recommend it to anybody. Thank you.